say hello, everybody. Hello. Everybody. This baby is fighting a nap today. Yeah. It's really fighting. Peter's, like, true first day to work. Like I mean, yesterday was. I still don't have access to my laptop. <laughs> I have a high-priority ticket with RIT. Nobody can figure out why I can't access my laptop, but I've been working more today than yeah. I feel like it's humanly you possible had more, without access to an email. Yeah. Today you had more meetings and whatnot. I was on so, meetings, Zoom calls, Teams oh. calls. And so it's really been the Mama and James show today, but he just he just wants me to hold him, which isn't it's not a bad thing whatsoever, but... God, I, that's the trouble with me working from home too. Is like, we gotta find our balance. Uh oh, he's about to lose a mitten. Which one? This one? No way. surprised Peter with this book today but it ruins a surprise when you use the person's Amazon Prime account that you're giving it to. And they got a push notification that said Obama, Obama, Obama. <laughs> so for dinner tonight I made some mushroom black beans and taco seasoning. That's how it looks just like prepare it like me but mushroom and tacos. Peter's having it like a big salad. I'm having it on tostadas. So it's the beans, fajita peppers, and salsa. And this is just um, rice cooked in a can of tomatoes and some tomato juice. That's how Peter's looks all together. He's got the chips crumbled up. And then I also made an avocado tomato onion salad. So it's like guacamole, but just more tomatoes than avocado. This is that. Peter. <laughs> this is oh. Peter's calling oh. all the Christmas tree potential vendors in Orlando's I found stands. three in Jacksonville that are open till 9 o'clock tonight. Comment below if you love the Muppets Christmas Carol. Peter, I have something to tell you. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? The Christmas tree at Epcot is up. We were just there. I know, James cried too. The same That's thing twice. Here. I know. Grand Floridian, the next day Christmas tree. Epcot, the next day Christmas tree. We just said, it's Food and wine's still going. It's seven o'clock, can we get there? I don't know what time it closes. Probably 10, I don't know. 10? It did the other day. That was a weekend, COVID I'm times. checking right now. At four in the morning, it became apparent that Eve was sick. But she's better. She's better now, but she had a really, really rough day. She was sick multiple times today. We're not quite sure why, but the important part is she's feeling good. And she's happy now. She's even laying on our new Merry Christmas sign that I'm about to put up right there because Sarah's been like, hey, something's missing from this space. It's called plants. Yeah, we were supposed to put plants in there, but the plants aren't happening. I don't think I'm here anymore. We have all the things. We're just worried about the ceiling holding it. Yeah, to get like an iron bar across there and uh, hang multiple plants from it when I fill it with water. I just don't and know. And like we're moving away. Yeah. It's just so we're not so we're gonna put a Merry Christmas. Here it is. Merry Christmas, kids. Hope you don't get coal in your sacks. <laughs> you haven't even hung up our sacks. Yeah, because I'm I'm taking a hiatus again, so I think I need to retire. I think I'm over these You're Christmas sacks. Up. Yeah. If we can't have one that matches Eve and James, whatever that little boy's name is over there, <laughs> then we need new ones. We need like classic old people stockings, hand knitted with a hundred year old fingers. My lips are chapped. Um. Tomorrow is one of my favorite days of the whole year. <laughs> not only, oh my gosh, my lips are like really chapped. Um, 
Not only is it Mickey Mouse's birthday, it's my half birthday. I love half birthdays. No one cares about half birthdays as much as Sarah Brookhart. I just need, like, half a birthday cake. Do you guys remember the episode of Arthur where they celebrate half birthdays? That's probably why I, why I like it. I never even knew that that was a thing. Oh. Um, but anywho, I just put on something on the TV and Peter's like, no way. Because he was just about to do the same thing. He's going to put it on. And look what he broke out. Sorry, Eve is just so cute watching you. Those um, are wedding champagne glasses. Yes. Um, Sarah wanted, I asked her jokingly if she wanted another Pepsi because she's already had two today. Um, I said, do you want a Pepsi and a cookie? And she goes, no, but a cranberry spritzer would be nice, so we're going to have some cranberry spritzers. And I thought, why not? Because it was like a weird day. It started off on a high note. Well, it actually started off with Eve being sick. Sad note. Mm -hmm. Ended up being a high note. James rocking his doctor's visit. Yes. And then everything else kind of went kaputs. Like, mm -hmm. James wasn't resting. My work was nuts. My laptop's still locked. Sarah got had to, like, send files to a client that's not going to be her client anymore. Mm -hmm. um, all these things. And then, like, all of a sudden the day, we tried making it better by, like, oh, let's try to find a Christmas tree. Don't find a Christmas tree. Then we find out Epcot has their Christmas tree up, even though we went yesterday. Same thing happened in Florida. We went two days ago. Two days ago. And now they've got their Christmas trip today. Um, and now so? it's 9 o'clock at night, and like the whole day is over. Mm -hmm. So it's the little things in life. We're going to make some cranberry spritzers with our wedding crystal. And we're going to watch... <laughs> the only person who got scared was Eve. <laughs> we're going to watch our wedding video. I'll link it here. Easy it's my favorite access. video of my entire life. Yeah. And, and I say that and even with a child now, and I'm sorry mm -hmm. for cutting you off, but I've always said this before we had children, and I said, I'm going to say this even with children, because... Without this video, without the action of our wedding, Sarah and I wouldn't have our kids. Mm -hmm. So it's okay that I'm saying this is my favorite video, which is essentially trumping like the day he was born video kind of a thing. Because we wouldn't have said video without said video. Yeah. Lawyered. Also, the poinsettia. Don't worry, friends. That's why we have it up so high. The yeah. doggy will not get it. You just not even know it's there. Nope. And we're like, we'll be sure that nothing falls. We're, we're very aware. Alrighty, cheers. James grew three quarters of an inch from our first pediatrician visit. And he's not quite to his birth weight yet, but he, he's gained enough where the doc is happy. And he's just the sweetest. The sweetest thing his head is still in the 99th percentile. What do you do when you're breastfeeding your babies and you're hungry at 11 o'clock? You pump yourself with a late night snack to make sure your calorie intake is sufficient. And yes, we got stacks on stacks on stacks of candy canes. I love when you just lays on my lap after you get done eating. all calm and now he's gonna get a bath. Well, still a sponge bath because he's still got his little umbilical cord hanging on. Oh gosh, someone's <laughs> nice and clean. Wrapped up in a little towel mm -hmm. like a cutie. Yeah. So now it's a mom and, and baby date to yep. lotion up and get him warm. Dad's gonna get changed and go to run. Yes. Just like Gerald says towards the end of this book, this was worth the wait. This sweet nighttime routine I'm doing with James was so, so worth the wait. Look at how sweet that face is. So, obviously I am new with this whole bedtime routine thing. Um, 
but I just want to tell you guys quickly about it. It's really, really short. Um, but also ask if you guys have any, like, favorite things that you've done at bedtime with your kids or um, your nieces and nephews or any of your friends' children. Just if, if you're... Um, if you're acting from experience and you want to share, I'd love to read in the comments what you've done. Um, so basically, we get him like nice and calm with the feeding before we do a little bath time. We've done that like every other night. Um, and then once he is all clean, we, we've been doing just like uh, a sponge bath because of, um, like we talked about, his belly button. But then we do some skin to skin and then I give him like a lotion massage just to get him all moisturized, get his muscles nice and toasty. Um, and then I've been doing little bicycles with his legs and moving his arms around. And then I get him nice and warm to do a shorter feeding. And then typically he, doze up, he dozes off. And then um, we get him all swaddled and we do his final feeding. And then the nights we don't do bath time, we just do those last feedings. He is asleep right here. Um, and then if anybody was curious about him gaining weight, I know we had mentioned that with the doctor's appointment that we have been just giving him a little bit extra, like one to two ounces of my pumped milk after every feeding. Peter typically heats it up and then he's able to feed him. And then for like the last stitch effort to get him back to his birth weight, which the doctor thinks that he'll get to by the end of this week. We've been doing like one to two ounces of formula at bedtime to really get him, you know, nice and full for bed, but then also to like make sure that he's like getting that caloric intake. Um, we don't know, like you don't really necessarily know how much he's getting from me when I nurse or how my milk is, but they know for sure like what's in the formula. And so, um, yeah, that's that's just like the little supplementation we've been doing. It seems to be good. So sorry, the camera died and I just want to finish that thought on my phone. James has been awesome sleeping. I mean, like overall, he's been super calm and content and happy. But we are honest on this channel and I just want to keep it real that, you know, we have had plenty of frustrations plenty of tears, plenty of learning along the way. Um, and so that aspect is still very real for us, but so is just totally being on cloud nine. Like we're still in this constant state of like pinch at me. There is just no words for it when, you know, we experience something even just super super small things where we're just like this is this is our baby oh no my skeleton friend is gone he must have gone out of business that's right day two getting out and running went towards downtown and it feels like an actual downtown look at this late night construction going on right across from the residence in marriott but it is 57 degrees in Orlando, Florida. You might as well take your down jackets out. You might as well get the long johns on. This is no longer sunny Florida. This is winter Florida. And I hope it stays for at least three days. Classic Orlando sign. All right, no big long rant today. I'm just gonna get back to running because I have to get home. Well, look at this sweet sight I came home to. Thought for sure they'd be in bed, but Sarah pointed out something very, very true. She never gets to just hang out with James while he's sleeping. It, she's always nursing. Yeah. Or like when he's sleeping, I gotta be doing something, but I don't got nothing to do. So just enjoy it. I'll come give you guys kisses after I'm not dripping sweat. All right, so it's 1, 10 in the morning. I just got done showering and I'm heating up uh, two ounces of formula with my little contraption. I think Sarah and let you guys know what we're doing with that. I'm gonna do the message so we can just say our goodbyes and our good nights. November 17th. It's so close to the end of the year, it's crazy. Today's quote is by Anonymous. Kiss your life, accept it just as it is today, now, so that these moments of happiness you're waiting for don't pass you by. Ain't that the truth? 
it's so good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.